everyone. Um, this is going to be another Scratch tutorial. I know I haven't released a video in a really long time. Uh, I've been sick and I've had a bunch of really busy weeks, but now we're going to get something that has been on pretty high demand. So, um, you may have already followed this tutorial for a platformer game where you learn how to make your, uh, make your sprite jump around and jump on platforms and stuff, but a complaint I've been hearing from people at the school I'm going to, which um, was kind of the purpose of this channel, um, the, the issue I've been hearing is we have really old computers, and they don't always log in in a class period. So, they, so what, what I'm going to do is our school has issued iPads, so I'm going to start making tutorials for mobile-friendly games. So this is going to be the first one of those. It's going to take something we've already made and just convert it into a mobile game. So go and follow those other two tutorials before you do this one. But without further ado, let's get into it because I've already spent way too much time talking. So... What I'm thinking uh, for this tutorial is, um, since all we need is basic moving and jumping, we'll have the the bottom uh, quarter of uh, the bottom left quarter of the screen be where you can click to go left. This to be where you can click to go right, and the top half to be where you can jump. So to do this, we're going to have to replace left and right arrows. So what we want to do is get an AND statement. And we actually want to duplicate this. So, what we're going to do basically is say, if the, if the, uh, uh, sorry, um, so what we want to do is we want to add these in. Uh, actually, let me think about this for a second. Um, so what we can actually do is we can do this with one. Uh, sorry, I didn't think about this. I was thinking about buttons. Okay, so we don't need this. We, we only need one of these. I apologize. I might edit this out if I have time. Okay. <laughs> Get one more and function. And put this here. And now replace, put mouse down in this. So we're going to say if the if it's in this area and this area. So so let's let's start with the left click. So if mouse x is less than zero. So that will be if it's on the left half of the screen because this is zero and the negatives goes this way and the positives go that way. And also if the mouse Y is less than zero and the mouse is down, then it will change the X velocity. So now if we click here, you can see how it goes that way. Like, see what I mean? So now if we duplicate this, So now if mouse x is greater than 0, but still below the halfway point, and then we just put this in here. Now if we click on this half of the screen, it goes that way, and on this half of the screen, it goes that way. So now we can move back and forth. So the, the, the issue with mobile things is they don't have arrow keys, which is, which is the point of this. <coughs> so now duplicate this and send it down here. Whoops. Okay. Don't do that. Scratch is kind of unwieldy with the new update. So now we want to say if mouse Y is greater than zero and the mouse is down, then it will jump. So we can move left, we can move right, and we can jump. So like we can... It doesn't really work that well because I'm using a computer right now. But like then, you can jump and move left and right. Uh, it'll make a little more sense if you're using an iPad so you can just tap on the screen on the left and right halves. But that's all for this tutorial. Um, I will be making more mobile-friendly 
um, tutorials in the future. This is just the first one. Um, and they might be converting some games we've already made. But this is just to solve a problem. And I will see you in the next tutorial.